The names. Strike our light herder. Lady Celestria. Together we are Celestial, Celestial Strike. Strike. Yeah, we are back. We got a uh, little arena content coming at you. We've already done the paper version of Jota the Unifier, but here's the arena version. Arena. Yo, this is a, a Legends Matter, a Oops All Legends, a Legend Wait For It Dairy. However you want to say it. Uh, it's all legends. So uh, so this is a really fun one. Uh, you pay uh, all five colors. You get a 5-5 five, five legendary creature human wizard. Legendary creatures you control get plus X plus X, where X is the number of legendary creatures you control. Whenever you cast a legendary spell from your hand, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a legendary non-land card with lesser mana value. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost, but Ooh. the rest, bottom of your library in any order. Oof. Yeah, it's pretty uh, ridiculous. Um, it's a very overpowered deck. It's very good, um, very synergetic, uh, and uh, if that's a word, I've always made that a word. I think it's a every time I've said it. But uh, y'all, uh, let's hop into it um, and uh, kind of show you how we get there. And if uh, if you like the deck, there is a link to the description uh, or link in the description below that you can go straight to it, copy and paste it into Arena and all that. And uh, please. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And uh, we'll we'll hop into this. Uh, Lady C, you want to kick us off? Yeah, so we got our one drops here. We got the swords to plow, sh plow shares, which is just an awesome uh, removal. Then we got wash away, some counter spells, and then blood chief's thirst, a little bit more removal there. Um, fateful absence removal. I don't know if you know we put removal in this deck. Yeah. Uh, Jacob Hawken Inspector. Um, so this one's pretty cool because then you, whenever you tap him, you can draw a card and exile a card from your hand face down. Um, you can look at it for as long as it remains exiled and then you can pay, uh, four and two blue and then transform Jacob. And then you start casting stuff for free when it's the yeah. other side, so. Yeah. So Incubation Druid, because it's the best ramp card of all, all time. Paradise Druid, it's another good one. We got Bard Class, a little enchantment class. Uh, Double Major, which lets you copy a target creature spell you control, except it isn't legendary if the spell is legendary. That's so important. that's pretty cool. Uh, Arcane Signet, Ornithopter of Paradise, Kamal's Druidic... Dr Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Kamal's druidic vow there you go. for some added ramp. Well, this is uh, this is straight up just not ramp, but I mean to get more, you know, get more cards on the, battle, cards yeah. on the battlefield, more mana. Meant. That's what I meant. I knew what you meant. That's what I meant. Um, Iliad Sun Crowned. Uh, it's a five-five indestructible enchantment creature. Uh, it's not a creature unless you have uh, five devotion to white, but uh, whenever you gain life, you put a one-one counter on target creature. It's very good. Search for Glory is a, a good tutor card. Uh, Mis Mystical Dispute is a really great uh, counter spell. It costs two less if it targets a blue spell. Uh, Varagoth Blood Sky Sire. Uh, it's a 2-3 death touch, but the important part is uh, you can boast it and go and tutor something and put it on top of your library. Nice. Liliana the Veil is one of the new reprints in uh, in Dominaria, and it's just an incredible three-drop planeswalker. Captain Lannery Storm, also legendary, uh, but it's a 2-2 haste, and so when it attacks, you create a treasure, so some great ramp there. Asika got of the tree, but we mostly use it for the prismatic bridge part of it. Mm -mm. Either way, it's legendary, and either way, it's awesome. Chromatic Lantern is super important in this one because everything is every color when you uh, tap it for land, or when you tap the lands for the colors, uh, you need all five colors in this deck, so that's important. Uh, Relic of Legends, this is actually really awesome because you can tap an untapped legendary creature you control and add one mana of any color as well, uh, as, as well as 
tapping this one for one man of any color. That's so nice. very, very nice card. Uh, the Celestis, uh, really good ramp as well. Uh, Shylai, I've never figured out how to say it. Shy, Shylai? Shylai. Shylai, voice of know. plenty. Three and a, a white, get a nice three, four uh, flyer. But the pro or the not the problem, but the great part is, is uh, you and Planeswalkers control uh, and other creatures have hexproof. And then you can pay six and put wall encounters on everything. Uh, Gissa is just great. Uh, you can actually basically steal your opponent's cards by killing them and uh, bring back on the battlefield under your control. Goreclaw is really nice, making everything that's big cost less. The Fairy who slows the sunset, just a very rude card. Um, you throw it out there, it's pretty much over. Speaking of rude, uh, oh, Tasha man. Unholy Archmage came out in the last set, Baldur's Gate, and oh my, it's one of the more broken cards in, in Arena. Uh, Helena and Elena uh, partners. This one's great. You get a lot of uh, buff with the 1 1 counters. Joda. Speaking of, uh, we got the other version of Joda in here, and you're going to get uh, to pay just the five colors, and then you can cast anything for just the five colors. So you have stuff that's expensive. You only need to have Warburg. Key of the Archives, really good. Uh, great ramp. Mask Wood Nexus. So I have this in here for a specific reason, the same reason I had it in paper. I want everything to be dragons, and uh, I'll explain that later on, or probably Lady C will do it. Uh, Kenrith, the Returned King. So um, so this one has lots of fun little things that you can do. So for red, all creatures gain trample and haste until end of turn. Uh, for one and a green, put one one counter on target creature. For two and a white, target player gains five life. Three and a blue, target player draws a card. Oops. Ooh, four and a black, target creature card. Uh, pull, put target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield and through it's under its owner's control. Yep. Uh, God Eternal Oketra. This is a good one. Double strike. Whenever you cast a creature spell, you create a 4 4 black zombie creature. Ashaya, um, where her the power and toughness are equal to the number of lands you control. Um, and then non token creatures you control are forest lands in addition to the other types. So if you have a bunch of tokens out there, you're all of a sudden flushed with mana. Uh, Arvad the Cursed, uh, other legendary creatures you control get plus two, plus two, plus he's Death Touch and Life Link. Yep. Uh, Lisa, Forgotten Archangel. Ah, there we go. A four or five flying life link. Whenever, whenever another non-token creature you control dies, return that card to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. If a creature an opponent controls would die, exile it instead. Uh, then we got the Scarab God, um, where this one just does all sorts of stuff. Oh, yeah. Him. Uh, Gigantha, the Wellspring, a 5-5 five, five Elemental Elk, so um, you can for a war tap him, and then for a Warborg, this mana can't be spent to pay generic mana costs. Yep, uh, so you just get five of all the color, you know, you get every color and adds every, your mana pool, yeah. it's pretty, pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, Tristani Discordant, um, so other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. When it enters the battlefield, create two one one white soldier creature, to creature tokens with lifelink. And then at the beginning of your end step, each player gains control of all creatures they own. So if you've had something stolen from you, you get it back. Uh, Maja, Bredegard Protector, uh, other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Rith Liberated Primeval, uh, flying with Ward 2. Other dragons you control have Ward 2. At the beginning of your end step, if a creature or planeswalker an opponent controlled was dealt excess damage this turn, create a 4 4 red dragon creature token with flying. So that goes back to that other mm -hmm. why we want the cards to be dragons. So then you got Golos, who uh, is incredible because you can go get a epic land card and then um you know once you have enough mana you can exile the top three cards of your library and play them all without paying their mana costs yep um and then uh, finishing out here we got embolus clutches uh you can just steal stuff karn's temporal sundering uh you take extra turns and return something back to someone's hand oh mean uh, Liliana Dreadhorde General. Uh, this one's incredible. I just want to say that you know it's going to be rough when you have two Lilianas and two Jodas in one deck. Yeah. It's going to be rough. Bolus of Citadel is really awesome. Pay life instead of mana for your spells. Atalia Primal Storm, uh, really awesome because you just exile and then you cast and stuff without paying the mana cost. Uh, Vorin Klex, Monstrous Raider, uh, just making sure that they can't get 1-1 counters and we can get a lot of them. 
uh miram sentinel worm so here is the kicker on this deck this is why we did the mask wood nexus uh, i want everything to be dragons so then i can copy those dragons and make sure that uh i'm getting double the legendary stuff whenever it comes out there and uh and we're gonna have just a stupid good time alesh norn uh just awesome pump and horrible uh decreases for your opponents Jenga Taxes, Progress Tyrant, just making sure that they can't uh, get any artifacts in a sense of sorceries resolved. Um, and then Shieldred, mm. Whispering One, uh, just making sure that we're getting stuff back from our graveyard back to the battlefield and they have to sacrifice things. Toxful the Corrosive, just very rude card. Um, Old Gnawbone, making sure we get lots of treasure. Uh, Vel Velomachus Lorehold, uh, you can actually attack with this one and you can cast instant or sorcery spells off the top uh e less than or equal to his power without paying the mana cost which is awesome coma cosmo serpent hello oh my gosh nickel bolus god pharaoh just getting all sorts of rude now uh the other foreign clex the super super mean one making sure people can't tap for mana great hinge just to top it off so we can keep doing stuff and then we got Ulamog. Ulamog, the ceaseless hunger coming in exile and stuff and just ruining everybody's day and Galta, Primal Hunger. Um, it's going to be pretty cheap to cast once you start getting these things rolling. Uh, Y'all, we run 38 lands in this deck. Other people like more, some people like less. Uh, let us know what you think below. But uh, without further ado, I think we should get into some games, I Lady guess. C. Yes, let's do it. Let's get it. Right, game one, we are going up against Miram, in fact, and uh, we were just talking about how maybe we're trying to use Miram in this uh, in this deck and try to get it get it rolling. But uh, we look good. We got we got lands. We got ramp. We got Golos. I mean, looking pretty solid, Lady mm, C. I'd say so. I'd like say some, so. you know, we got tapped lands, but we can. But they tap for multiple things. Yeah, yeah. we got ramp. We got Golos, who we can go get more lands. 100%. Drawn land. Yeah, and uh, I mean, we're, we're, we're absolutely rolling now. Okay, so they're trying to ramp up a little bit. Don't you do it. You saw them try. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, thought, gonna, you thought for a second. They were gonna, they were thinking. All right, so we didn't get a turn uh, three play everything's pretty expensive but obviously not gonna attack with a zero two or an adopter or shame but it makes sense. yeah it so is what, a flyer though so what are they gonna do Pump it. Uh, hmm. we're gonna go joda no doubt about that Maybe. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what does I know? What do they have up their sleeve? All right. So Joda time, and then we got all the spells in the hand. Okay. Can live with that. Yeah, we could take extra turns this next turn if we wanted to with Karns. Oh, we can we can do. I think I think that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna do an extra turn. We're gonna send that back to the hand, and we get to cascade. Ooh, this is where Joda gets dangerous. Sure, we'll do Oketra. Yeah, let's, why not? I'll take we'll take that. Why not? And we're gonna take an extra turn after this, so it's gonna get bad. This is gonna get bad. Oh. Ooh like that on to the next one right we are playing Jetmir Nexus of Rebels for game two oh, don't, 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 no we took it incubation druid but it's just not oh. yeah this that's not that's not gonna cut it yeah that's better yeah still got incubation druid that's good than Jengatha. Oh, did we get a green? 
Yeah, I think the backside of the. Hey, Red. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're good. I think we're good. I'm just waiting on uh, Homeboy to. Viral hopes. Yeah, so back side of that, we're good to go. Okay, yep, Paradise Druid. And the reason I go Paradise Druid first is it's hexproof. So, like, if we put an incubation out there, it could get removed, and we don't even get to use it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I like to at least be able to use the ramp card before all that starts going down. Okay. So we're gonna go ramp just to make sure that we can play Jota next turn. Got under your sleeve there. I like that one a lot. Mm hmm. Ah! Okay. Well, we knew it. We knew it was going to happen. That's why I wanted to do Paradise first. Okay, so we need to draw land. We didn't draw land. We didn't draw land. And go Gore Claw. Could do this. Okay. You know what I mean? Start pumping some stuff. Yeah. We really need land, though. Yeah. Okay, that's not a huge deal. They're they're getting mana fucked as well, so at least we're even. I can kill this. Boom. All right, so I'm just a little behind though. It's a little behind. I'm drawing good cards, but we need land. Yeah. We need land. Okay, that'll work. Boom. Big daddy swing. We needed that. Right back in the game. Really needed that a lot. Now they have to start holding back for blocks. Yes. Yeah, they have to be a little more careful of what they do. Oh. It's kind of bad. Gonna let that go. Vigilance. Ouch. Ooh, yeah, that hurts. Chihuahua. Okay. Oh, my. What do we do? We lantern, we can get Jota next turn. We can pump this. There won't be any swings, you know what I mean? Yeah. So maybe we can just hang on. Okay. It's not a big deal. Um, uh, we're waiting. Come on, buddy. We're waiting. Do 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 do. Like finally. Okay. So as anticipated, they did not swing. We didn't draw land. <laughs> But it's okay. We're gonna have to not swing one more time, I think. Right? Technically, yes. Or we could swing. We could swing with Goreclaw. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna they have, have to, to they block. They have to block. Or they go down to what? One life? Mm hmm. Boom! Oh! They will go down to one I life. I didn't expect them to take that. Interesting. What do they have? What do they have? They only have three mana. I don't think they have anything. Yeah, that's that's not it. That ain't gonna do it. Why would they have not blocked? I mean, like I get not wanting to get rid of, you know, their big daddy, but they should have blocked. Hey yo! Well, we'll take the dub on to the next one. All right, y'all. Game three, and we're playing Agnes, the Haste King. Oh no. Uh, so. Got land. We have we, we have land and a ramp. It's just slow. Yeah. We got 
got land and a ramp is just slow. Okay. No, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, oh, we would have had. Oh no. Uh, wah, wah. That was a horrible misplay. Might as well just do Celestis. Oh no. That is so painful. That's so whack. We're playing a. We have nothing out there. We're playing haste. Yep. Comes a little three to our dome ski. Little ding. I guess we wouldn't have. Oh. We wouldn't have yeah, I mean, we would anyways. be blocking, but still. Oh, good. We're missing yep. mana drops already. Here we go. Oh, we, we'll have enough for Jeff. They miss mana drops or something? What's going on? Boom! Yeah. Um. Yeah, we're not gonna make it to Ulamog. We're playing a haystack, you know what I mean? So, I'm not really. Yeah, we do that. Go to Joda. All right, I'm good to go. See, now we're rolling. Now yeah, we're rolling. Yeah, now we got some things to do. Now we are rolling. And we've got something to block their little haystack. Okay, that's not a big deal. I mean, that's. You know, I don't like it in the air, but. Mm. I think I think we'll be I. Right. I wish I wasn't tapped. Um, do that. Let's we'll do a little cascade. Isn't that other one fly a flyer? Maybe we should. Yeah, but it's de with the death touch, I'm not gonna block it. I'd rather do this. What are they gonna do? Tend to their face, or they have to block. Exactly. Boom. Nice. See, we're good. Uh, yeah. Uh, we don't need the tutor. We don't need it. We got everything we need to win the game in the hand. Okay, that's not as good. Oh, he didn't. He didn't attack. Well, I guess he did have to kind of sit back, huh? Uh, we do tox roll. Ooh, yikes. Think about that. Oh, interesting. Yeah. 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 Ooh, hell of a turn. Let's do this. Ooh. I'll throw Nickel in there and then we'll maybe play that for free next turn. Boom, boom, boom. And they're going to get some negative one, negative ones because <laughs> that's what Tox will do. Uh, we are very much in a, in a good spot. Yeah. I mean, pretty much. Well, I mean, if we just swing out. Yeah. yeah. Woo! Y'all, this deck is ridiculous. Mm. On the next one. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for, Joda versus Joda. Do Mirror match. Do we build a better Joda deck? I feel like we do. We're going to see. We'll find out. I think we're gonna keep this. Mm. We're gonna use the Sika as ramp. Okay. Okay. Because if we put that down and we drew like two two lands and no ramp or something like that, the next hand I, I wouldn't forgive myself. We have some removal, we got counters. Like those are such those, those are awesome. Those are beautiful. I miss Ugin. Oh I favorite. I miss Ugin. Okay. Ooh. Get it going. Our little ice dragon over there. I love I that love guy. I love him. I love him. What's up, man? Mm. Okay. Tapped land. Yeah, well, next one won't be tapped. We'll throw a Sika out there. We got, you know, we're, we're, we're rolling. Oh, Relic of Legends really nice. Relic of Legends is real nice, so now if we just draw a normal land, we, we can... We can use Asiga as, as her, yep. the way she's supposed to be. Prismatic Bridge. Come on, let's get that land going, baby. So they're doing a Cultivate. It's a great turn three. Damn. That's unfortunate. Yep, so we gotta use that as ramp now. Okay. 
So we have the mystical dispute in the back pocket. So if they played Jota, we can uh, counter it for one. They probably think we have a wash away or something, so I don't... Oh, that's... That's unfortunate. That's whack. And we're drawing uh, Ulamog. All right, so I guess we'll just go Jacob out there. I'll just leave it back for counters or something. I don't know. That's 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 wildly unfortunate. Mm. Okay. Not a huge deal. Still not a huge deal. Hey, there's Finally. a land. Jota. Uh, I mean, I want to just kill. Maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll wait. So what's nice about a Sika as the creature is there we go. That's why I waited. Got him. <laughs> well, shit. Well, uh, a Sika has. Well, no, the reason why I didn't swing, I was just thinking about this, Toski is indestructible. He could just block. We don't have trample or anything, you know? Yeah. So, uh, but that's a land. nice... Land! Yay! The land. Um, what do you need? Blue? We could have... Uh, yeah. Is it a Shaya? I've been calling it a Shaya. I've been calling it a Shaya forever, too. I'm pretty sure it's a Shaya, just now that I look at the actual spelling. Damn! Okay. So now... What do we do? At the very least. Really? I th we should have swung with Jota. At least. Oh, we don't have trampled on the attack. Well, no, Toski had already Oh, Toski was tapped out. Yeah, tapped. I guess we could have. Um. I think. Oh, no, he's indestructible. So, well, that's unfortunate. Okay, so. All right. What do we do here? We do good job. Yeah. Ganta. Boom, 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 boom. Love it. Everything hexproof. Big fan of that. Uh, we could do this. Get rid of that thing that makes uh, Homeboy indestructible. Boom. And then I say we just uh, swang. Wang. I want I want a shy a real big and life linky. Ooh. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't understand oh. why Haliod hasn't come out. Uh we don't we're too devotion short. We have like no so white. Has to be right, that's why. Right. I was like, we no, we have enough. I was thinking it was because of power, but oh, it's no, not power. No, no, that's um I was like we definitely have enough. We power. definitely have the power. We definitely have the power. We are getting in that ass, y'all. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. You know I'll always keep it a hundred with y'all. Um. Careful, because he doubles target creature's power. Yeah, but we can just block with a Shia again. Or Shaya. Yeah, or we can do that and that. Yeah. Just in case they had a pump or something, we, we're good. <laughs> They did sit back for blocks. We got Henji. Boom, boom, Gore Claw. That's great. We could Ulamog. I say we do it. That and that. See ya, see ya. Ooh. Yeah. It's, uh... Oh, oh, baby. Y'all. Smarts. This is exactly what we're talking about with this. Oops, all Legends deck. I mean, it's almost too easy. It really is, y'all. And as you see, our Jota's better than other Jota's. Yeah. Just saying. It's so, pretty good. If it's you, pretty good. If you want that power in your hands, and if uh, you want to do a little bit of tweaking, you know, if you got more wild cards than us, because, you know, we... we we don't have that many wild cards all all the time. So if you if you have more than us, you can probably make this one even more ridiculous yeah, for and sure. uh, and go go absolutely ham. But that uh, that link is in the description below. So you want to take a peek at that and and uh, 
get it into arena and start dominating. So uh, y'all, it feels good to be back. Uh, we're, we're trying to get, get up and rolling on our schedules. So we just appreciate y'all support and all that, but we do other things besides the YouTube, Lady we C. We do. Most important of all, we have a Discord, which is full of amazing other fellow magic enthusiasts. We have all formats, all experience levels. People just like to get together and build awesome decks. So yep. we, uh, we play each other on Arena. We play uh, EDH and Untap. So uh, join the Discord. The link is below. Yep. Uh, we also stream on Twitch, typically on Wednesday evenings. It's been a little bit more... Um, you know, patchy as of late, but go follow us on Twitch. That way you'll get notified mm -hmm. whenever we go live. Um, and we also have a podcast, which uh, we stream live as well. Yep, that's on the Twitch. So, And we have an after party afterwards uh, playing EDH and, and Arena and all that stuff. So, so we'll do in our podcast, we typically will feature a uh, EDH deck and then we'll go into Untap and play it and show you exactly how yep. it works. Against fellow Celestials. Against so. fellow Celestials time. in real time. It's a good time it's a good time y'all so uh yeah definitely want to be a part of that uh however until next time y'all i am strike our lighthearted i'm lady celestial together we are celestial, celestial strike. strike we will see y'all next time take it sleazy Bye. peace